In this problem, we have more fractions with uh, uh, non-common denominators. And in this case, we've got all kinds of negative signs. In fact, we've got a double negative here. We're subtracting a negative. So this looks pretty complicated. But actually, a double negative is kind of a good thing because subtracting a negative is the same thing as just adding. When I see two negative signs in a row like that, I just turn them into pluses. So really, this problem is negative 5 ninths plus one fifteenth. Now that's still no picnic. You've got common denominators to make here and lots of work to do, but uh, at least it's easier than that original problem looked. So let's follow the first step and try to find the least common denominator by listing the multiples of each of these denominators. So nine and nine times two is 18 and nine times three is 27 and nine times four is 36 and nine times five is 45 and nine times six is 54. Hopefully, hopefully we've gone far enough. And 15, okay, 15 times one is 15. 15 times two is 30. 15 times three is 45. Ah, there we go. So there is our least common denominator. So what do we need to multiply the nine by to get 45? Well, that would be five. So that means we multiply the fraction by five over five. And what do we need to multiply 15 by to get 45? That's going to be three. So we multiply here by three over three. So let's, let me rewrite this down here. This is a negative, And then on the top, five times five is 25. On the bottom, nine times five is 45. And then we have a plus sign. And on the top, one times three is three. And on the bottom, 15 times 3 is 45. OK, so we've got a negative 25 plus 3. And if that gets confusing, punch it into your calculator. It's basically like um, if you drew a number line, we're way down at negative 25, and we're going a positive 3. So we're going in this direction, and that's going to bring us to negative 22. So this is negative 22 45ths. And that is our answer. So that is a little bit of work with a signed fraction subtraction problem involving a double negation.